I'm Clay Carlino, and I am not an electronics technician, but I am an old school gamer, and this is one of my favorite old school video game systems. This is the Vectrex. The Vectrex came out in 1982, and unfortunately it didn't last very long due to the video game crash of 1984. Nonetheless, it was one of the most innovative systems of its time, and the games are still awesome. Unfortunately, when I got mine, the image was not centered very well on the screen, and some of the text was really hard to read. After doing some research, though, I found out that you can correct these things. I'll show you how. You have to take the back cover off of the machine, which is not really that hard. There are five screws that you'll have to undo. There is one that is here, one that's over here in the bottom corner there, one right here in the bottom center, and then one up in the top corner, and one up in the other top corner. So you just use a Phillips screwdriver, take those out, pull it off. Be very careful. You don't want to shock yourself. But this is the inside of the machine, and yes, I know I should be using an anti-static mat and stuff like that, but like I said, I am not an electronics technician. So, to adjust the images on the screen, there are some potentiometers that you can turn with a screwdriver to change the way that the image is displayed. The first one, and the hardest to see, is this one right back here. You see that little yellow circle with a plus-shaped indentation? That's a potentiometer, and what that adjusts is the vertical height of the image. So watch what happens on the screen as I play with that. I'm just going to put my screwdriver right in the end and turn it and you can see how I can make it very tall to the point where you can't even see everything on the edge or I could make it very very short where you know it's only taking up about half of the space available. So I'm going to adjust it right about to there, I think. That's not so bad. The next adjustment is this potentiometer right here. That one adjusts the width, and I'll show you. Just by turning that one, I can make the image so wide that actually there will be stuff that doesn't appear on the screen or I can make it very, very narrow, very, very narrow, to where it only takes up about a third of the space available. So I'm going to go right about to here, I think. That's not so bad. The next potentiometer to adjust is right here. And see, I even made a little label for myself. This adjusts mostly the character height. And here what I mean is the letters on the screen, I'll uh, hit the reset, and you can really see how dramatic the effect can be, and if that's off, it can be really, really hard to read. So I'll put it right about to there. And then the next adjustment, which is this one right here, and by the way, these ones you can just adjust with your finger like this. You, would, you don't even need a screwdriver. This adjusts the skew, so you can see that I got a kind of diagonal thing going here, or I could make it go diagonal the other way, but what you actually want is for things to just go straight up and down. And that is pretty much where I've got it now. The last thing, and this was the most important adjustment in my case, was this potentiometer right here. In this one you will need a screwdriver, but this is the diagonal positioning on the screen. When you rotate this, you can see it either puts the image up in this corner, or if you adjust it the other way, it goes down in this corner. And so, what you want is for that to be dead center. And that is how with a little bit of tweaking and you know you can put in different game cartridges or select different games to make sure that it works in every situation you can fine-tune the image on a Vectrex without having to know 
any electronics. You don't have to adjust the position of the tube mechanically. It's actually pretty easy. And these machines, by the way, are additionally cool because there are, there are new cartridges that people have made over the last several years of homebrewed games that are really, really good. So I encourage people, you can find a Vectrex, go on eBay, pick one of these up. They're a lot of fun. Look into the homebrew games because they're awesome. And uh, have fun with your Vectrex. So that's it. If you like this video or you like any of my other videos, then please feel free to subscribe. Click the thumbs up button. Other than that, how to adjust the image on your awesome Vectrex video game system. Yay!